luxury cruise in Halong Bay. Aboard Paradise Peak, we were cruising along the scenic Halong Bay in style and elegance. Exquisite top-notch dining coupled with our marvelous superior suite cabin created the most blissful atmosphere for our 24 hours with Paradise Vietnam. Exploring Halong Bay's natural sites was also everything we had hoped for and more. Kayaking on the emerald waters, hiking to the top of Teton Island, and marveling at the sheer size of Halong Bay's largest cave were some of our top bucket list moments. Every time we came back on ship after those adventurous moments, we were once again treated like royalty. Well, at least when we dressed in our out dyes, we felt that way. Being picked up from Old Town Hanoi by our fashionable limo van was just the start of an opulent journey ahead. We just arrived in Halong Bay and we actually got dropped off at the Paradise Suites Hotel that Paradise Vietnam owns for us to check in. And it's actually so fancy and elegant. They have their own boutique, their own lounge and snack bar. And Jason's just going through the check-in process right now. I can't wait for us to get on the ship. We have about an hour to an hour and a half before boarding. The check-in process was so smooth and quick. We already have our wristbands. So the color that you have is actually dependent on the cruise that you're doing. So right now we are in the Paradise Village. They actually have a ton of different hotels here, generally owned by the Paradise brand. So we're gonna walk around, maybe grab a coffee, or we'll just sit and relax before we head onto the boat. After a quick safety briefing in the dining room, we got settled into our suite for the night. We're located on the third floor, so the top floor of the cruise, and it's looking so marvelous. It's very executive. As soon as you come into the room, you'll notice this large bed. It looks so comfortable, and of course, you can't miss the fancy Vietnamese outfits. So back in the day in Vietnam, kings and queens would actually dress up in these bow dyes and it's a sign of prosperity. We're gonna be wearing them during dinner and it'll be such a cute experience. In front of the bed is this amazing credenza. There's quite a bit of storage here and of course there's a TV. They actually have built-in movies for us to watch throughout our time if we have some free time. We do have a jam-packed itinerary ahead of us. You also notice we have a coffee bar Complimentary waters come in these glass bottles because in Halong Bay, they don't use plastic anymore and you can get a constant refill if you need them. Beside the bed is this really nice vanity space with a large mirror if I needed to get ready and the bathroom is occupado. There's also some really nice welcome fruits that they provided for us. And across from that is our wardrobe. Now you'll notice the continuous Indochina prosperity symbols on the closet, which I love. And they also provided us some bathrobes, different colors for me and Jason in here. And across from the wardrobe, is this beautiful ensuite bathroom. I'm so enamored by the wooden slat features that remind you that you're on a ship. And beside the sink is this large glass shower with a rainwater feature. I love the tiling that they have in here. And they provide tons of bathroom amenities that are branded by them, as well as some extra ones if you ever forget some cotton swabs, a comb, a toothbrush, it's right there. And of course, we can't forget the standalone bathtub that overlooks the beautiful limestone islands that keep passing into view. But this is not the only place that we can admire the view. Let's go check out the balcony. Just before we head out to the balcony, there's actually a really nice dining area if you wanted to have some private time, drinking your coffee indoors, but let's head outside. 
The water looks amazing. The limestones just keep coming into view. And I love that we actually have patio furniture here. Oh, this is so soft, but I think I'm just gonna kick back and relax for the next 15 minutes before we go grab our lunch. So we are here ready for our first meal on Paradise Peak. The menu is looking absolutely incredible. A bunch of different seafood flavors. We have an assorted seafood platter. It's so fancy. I know we're gonna absolutely love everything. But okay, here's a drinks menu. I think me and Lauren are gonna go for a little coffee because we're feeling a little bit tired. So we need a little nice Vietnamese coffee to wake us up along with some fruit juices. I love the little decorations they have here on the side. Little dipping sauces, salt and pepper, fish sauce, of course. I think this is gonna be one of the best meals. So we thought that the seafood platter was already fully here, but JL just brought us the crab and the sea bass right over there. For our first excursion here on the Paradise Peak Cruise, we are at the Ha Long Pearl Museum. You have two choices here. One of them is you can go visit the pearl farm along with doing a little bit of shopping in there. Maybe you want a little pearl necklace or you can do some kayaking. So I think Lauren's gonna go kayaking and hopefully I can pop up the drone and then follow her a little bit. I think the views are gonna be spectacular. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Thank you. Okay. We made it to Thethop Island for a little bit of a hike to this beautiful viewpoint to be able to see the panoramic view of Halong Bay. It is one of the main attractions here in the bay and it's actually really well constructed. They have a bunch of signs. There's a whole beach over here and it's incredibly busy. We're gonna go head up those stairs. I think it's about 20 to 30 minutes round trip and get some exercise with some amazing views. We made it to the top. It's actually such an amazing view and it's only about 342 steps. It went by a lot faster than I expected. If you guys didn't want to go hiking, you could also just relax at the beach. I think we have a little bit of time to squeeze in some relaxation at the beach as well. It is so crazy lively here. You have people playing volleyball, people playing soccer, people swimming, people hiking, obviously. It's honestly just such a fun time here. There's also a little shop if you want to go buy a few drinks, some snacks and stuff like that. So let's head back to the ship where I believe what's coming up next is a little cooking class. And I think we're making spring rolls. So we have on our official bao dais ready for dinner. I think it actually looks so stylish. At first I thought maybe a little bit ridiculous, but no, we are royalty for tonight. Let's go grab a little dinner and hopefully grab some drinks as well. 
We just got seated for dinner and we are gonna be doing an a la carte menu, but it's kind of buffet style. So we can choose out of Eastern and Western menus. You can mix and match. You can get as many as you want. So I think we're gonna pick some of our favorites from the mains and there are quite a few nice options. For the appetizers, you can get a smoked salmon served with black caviar, which sounds amazing. On the Eastern side, you can get the how long squid cake crab meat spring roll and jellyfish salad. Very intriguing. You know, I think we're now pros at making spring rolls. Mama, you would be very proud. We even got ourselves a certificate for our cooking class today. It is our final morning for our amazing cruise and for our last excursion, we are at the Han San Sot Cave, which is actually the largest cave here in the Halong Bay area. It's about 200 steps to climb into the cave and inside we'll find three different chambers. We're really excited. Apparently it's absolutely beautiful, especially the last chamber. Once you're inside, there's about 500 steps you go up and down, but really they say it's not too bad at all. It's quite flat. So this would be a really nice final excursion for us. Normally we're not the biggest fan of caves, but the Han San Sot cave here in Halong Bay was amazing. The intricate lines in the ceiling, the different textures along the walls. This is such a great way to end our last excursion here in Halong Bay. We're gonna head back to the boat now because we're gonna grab one final breakfast before heading back to the pier. And for a final breakfast, of course, it's again a la carte, but you can order as much as you want. So I just got two different dishes. I got my absolute favorite Vietnamese breakfast, pho, beef buns. I also got a little smoked salmon, scrambled eggs, and a little bit of toast, starving from the little treks through the cave. Let's dig in. This has been such an amazing, luxurious cruise. Seeing the limestone islands, the amazing staff, the delicious food on board. We honestly can't wait to come back and do it again. We'll be heading to the airport in less than an hour. Sadly, we had to leave Halong Bay and the northern part of Vietnam, but join us next time as we head to Hoi An.